Hello guys and gals. Um, I thought I'd give you a video, uh, just an update video really. I've been telling a few people that there's going to be a video coming. Uh, so I thought, what better day than today to stick an update video on. Um, you know, just give you a bit of insight into the last three, four months. I think January, February is the last time I did a video. So I thought, you know, let's get the ball rolling again. Give me something to focus on. You know, see if it can help me kick on even further, sort of thing. So this is an update video, and this is how it's been. Okay, so firstly, I have to apologise about the sound. I don't know what it's going to turn out like. I'm using a different camera because I sold my old one. Uh, needed the money as you do and uh yeah so i don't know what this is going to turn out like but i'll put it on anyway and and just see how it goes um anxiety uh from when i first started doing the videos those of you that have been following for card i don't know when i started doing them, about october i think last year um i've definitely improved somewhat man um it's been gradual, it has been slow, and it does get bad at times still, you know, as bad as it was then, but it doesn't seem to last as long, sort of thing, you know. Before I started doing the videos back then, I was bad 99% of the time, and I'd have the odd good day here and there, sort of thing. But now, you know, I'm, I'm having good weeks, and I'm having bad weeks, but, you know, I'm having good weeks, which is what I try and focus on, whereas I used to have a good day, you know, and if I can keep progressing, at that kind of rate, you know. I to say, come October this year, it'll be a year since I started doing the, the YouTube and the, the stuff like that. And, uh, you know, who knows where we'll end up come October, you know, if that's what it took, if I've made that much progress in a year, then, you know, roll on next October, keep making this headway sort of thing, you know. I have put no time limits on my recovery sort of thing, you know, and I am getting there slowly. It's just that when it's bad, it's as bad as it was. So, you know, I'm what far, far from feeling anywhere near where I wanna be. Um I've been doing my therapy, I think I've had about five or six sessions now and it's costing, you know, a lot of money and being out of work and that it is I'm finding it quite difficult to keep up with well, we're, we're making the payments, obviously, we're not, you know, you can't fall behind if you ain't got the money and you don't go, but it's putting quite a bit of pressure on. But I think I'm putting the pressure on, you know, because I can't justify spending that kind of money when I'm still feeling anxious and still getting symptoms and stuff, you know, but I know that it's still early days, really, and she's still, the therapist is still learning about me, really, so... It's a catch-22, really, you know, I can't justify spending the money, but how am I going to know unless I keep doing it, you know. Um, we went away last weekend for a couple of days, well, three, four nights, three nights, I think, um, and it went really, really well, man. It was the last day that I started feeling a bit dodgy, and whether that was anything to do with coming home, because I was coming home myself, because my missus was staying over there for a bit. You know, so I had a couple of dodgy days, and then I had more dodgy days, and then when it started getting hot on Sunday, just gone. Um, I really don't cope well in the heat at all, man. So, uh, excuse me. Um, the weather here in England has been bloody baking. <laughs> For us Brits anyway, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, it's nothing like what it is in America, but over here we tend to moan when it's hot and moan when it's cold sort of thing. And it's been too hot for me, man. Since Sunday last week, it has been ridiculous. Um, and today is the first day that it's cloudy and it's a lot cooler and the air's a lot fresher and, and I can breathe. But I really do not do well in the heat. Um, I struggle with breathing through my nose and stuff and... I just I just don't cope well with heat, you know. Um, so that hasn't been nice. But today I've woke up and I feel much fresher in myself, sort of thing. I feel more awake and stuff. And you know, the last three or four days I've been getting out of bed and just feeling knackered, like I could sleep all day, sort of thing. You know, I didn't really want to get out of bed. But today I woke up, you know, nice and early, came down, feeling fresh and that, and it's just so much nicer when it's 
when it's cooled down after a few hot days and sort of thing. So, yeah, I'm still not coping with the heat very well. But other than that, really, other than the, the heat putting me down and taking me back, you know, I haven't been too bad. I've had a few weeks where I've felt my stomach being really dicey, which seems to be a recurring symptom for me now, you know, when I'm having a bad anxiety week, I think I have a bad stomach, so, you know, I'm getting out of the house a bit, not nowhere near as much as I'd like to, and I probably could, it's just that that motivation's not there, sort of thing, you know, from those of you who remember when I used to do the walks and stuff, you know, I don't do any of that anymore, and I should, because I'm, my fitness level's gone right back down again, and, and you know, I'm not too bad out and about now. Um, I've done a few more bits. Well, well, I suppose it's it's only the stuff that I really used to do. You know, I've not really pushed on and done anything new, sort of thing. So I don't know. Something to work towards, I suppose. But that's the idea with really the getting back on the videos. Maybe you know, it gave me that motivation, sort of thing. It gave me an extra focus on doing things before. So that's what I'm planning to do. You know, try slowly get back into it a bit and you know not rely on the camera like I used to sort of thing you know, I know people have said that the camera kind of becomes a crutch for you you know and you with your camera on in your face you feel fine sort of thing so I don't want to get back to that stage where I was you know I was finding it quite easy to do things with the camera so we'll see how it goes man and and we'll do a few things and see, get the exposure therapy going and that because the people have been carrying on with videos and that and it's, it's good to see people still doing this kind of thing so I thought I'd get back on the, on the bandwagon and uh, and just go with it and see where we go from there so that's pretty much it really for the, the first update um, anxiety still there still can be as severe as it ever has been, it's just not as frequent, so, you know, onwards and upwards, again, we'll see how it goes anyway man, I want to get back into it, the, it's just good, it's just good, I don't know what else to say really, I'm out of practice on the old video in front, so, next time, I don't know, we'll jazz it up a bit for you, take it easy guys, wicked to see you all on panic station anyway um, if you're not a member already and you're watching this then pop over panicstation.ning.com it's a good it's a group for people like us you know it's moderated and you can blog on there and, and you know if you fancy it join it man there's people on there that suffer from all kinds of similar you know disorders sort of thing you know, anxiety, panic attacks, OCD, you know, it's a good place to be, I love it.